Well, 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 look at this. It looks like the Halloween event is right around the corner after all. It does look like we might be seeing this come out on Friday, although they're not actually confirming the date here. You know, it's mid-October. Ooh, when is that going to be? Is that going to be Friday the 13th? Will it be Monday in a couple of days? It's probably going to be Friday the 13th. I'm imagining that's the whole point of them being like really weird about dropping the initial event on the 29th. And then, you know, it's supposed to come out two weeks later because they're like, ooh, we could do it on the spooky day, right? That makes a whole lot of sense to me. But yeah, we have the official announcement over here. I don't know if they actually list it here, but they have it on the Twitter where they pretty much put out the same thing. Um, apparently, they're going to be doing a live stream for this. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream this live stream. It is around the time that I would normally go live, although it's on a Tuesday and I have only been streaming on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I might go ahead and go live for this uh, just to see if maybe we get any quality of life little things. I doubt it. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up on that one just because we're getting a live stream. I would say go in with the expectations that here's what they're going to show. They might show the new free to play servant. They might show Zenobia and then they might show Jacques and that's probably going to be it. And they might just go over some of like the event mechanics not that there really is any event mechanics that you really need to be like keeping an eye out for it's pretty simple there's three different point ladders if you played summer what was it summer three i believe it's kind of built like that where you're just gonna have a lot to farm for this event although i don't think any of the free to play ce's give you bonus points but they do proc um the enemies you'll see so instead it'll be like oh more scarecrow guys will appear and so that can you know help you get more points or whatever because you'll farm more people one of uh, the gimmicks that i really don't like i don't really like having to interact with like well sometimes you'll have like a 222 node and sometimes it'll be a 333 and i just don't like stuff like that even though buster farming doesn't really care about it it just kind of annoys me when i have to do it with like arts farming or something because well i mean we'll kind of scroll down and look at some of the different event bonus servants if you want to use any of these guys for farming it'd be a little bit annoying i don't think there's any like main like arts person though so i might just I might just farm it with Mordred just to get that bond up because, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get that bond tang, you feel me? That's extra Saint Quartz that I'm going to be using for Summer Jean, who should be coming out in a couple weeks here. But yeah, I, bottom line, I wouldn't get too excited for the live stream because, you know, sometimes they bring stuff like that early. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, Mighty Chain early or I guess advanced quests we're waiting on, but that's probably still going to come out for New Year's, I believe. It's not like we're going to be getting the new Mystic Code or anything. Although, we do get a new Mystic Code, funny enough, for this event. I, I The one I'm thinking about is the new plug suit we get, but we actually do get one for this event that's not all that bad. It's kind of neat. I don't think they list it here. Yeah, because they're just kind of being like, oh yeah, here's the actual event that's going to be coming out. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think, is there anything that... They could announce early, probably not. Maybe they'll tack on an extra banner. Although, let me, let me pull up the original event page here, over here in the back while, while I'm talking. But I don't think there's really anything insanely hype they could tack on to this that would be like really, really cool. Because, you know, sometimes that's kind of the benefit right now of being an NA player is that ever since Lysengle took over, they really do fire out a lot of banners. And I talked about this I want to say a good couple of months ago when Medusa Saber came out, because we had like, what, like six, seven different raid up servants that came back. And I was like, this is actually not bad. Like some people might see it as greedy, but for me, having all these limited servants that usually you know might not come back for another like two, three years in some very rare cases, right? That are just gone for a really long time. It's nice that we get extra chances to try to summon for them, because even if you don't care about... I don't know, like maybe Gilgamesh is not your favorite character. Let's use him as an example. But someone like me, that's my favorite character. You know, that might be a really cool opportunity for me to summon for that character, especially right now for the rest of 2023, where we don't have the most insane lineup of banners. Like we have good units coming out, but there's nobody like, oh my goodness, if I don't go for this unit, I'm missing out, right? It's not quite like the current year has been for uh jp right where ever since about what the arcade event dropped it's just been banger after banger after banger servant coming out it's just been a ton of really really strong people but with the actual event bonus units and let's see we already get a jox and zenobia banner and then the second banner was napoleon which we i think we already know that we're going to be getting that right i think they actually announced it down here no they didn't announce it down here but there's like no other 
Maybe they'd serve and they could really bring back. That's a bit unfortunate because that might have been a little bit hype for some people you could look forward to. Like, let's say Arjuna Altar was one of the event bonus servants, right? That could have been really hype. That could have been something to really look forward to, to be like, well, maybe he'll come back for this event. Because I know for the Glasses event, um, when he was kind of like on the front page for that event, it's like, okay, finally, Arjuna Altar might be coming back around because that's still one of the best units in the game, even to this day. That guy is insane. And so for people that want to have some of the better servants and just crush all the different farming nodes and everything, it's nice to be able to pick those guys up. But yeah, like I know Mordred's popular, but it's not like a, you know, really limited servant that you don't get to see very often. I mean, Mordred, I believe, is one of the units that does come back around pretty much for all the Valentines and everything. So her coming back around, you know, maybe she'll get that. Maybe you really want to get... Her costume right you, you farm the apocrypha event maybe you grabbed it out of the miss crane shop or whatever that can be kind of cool but there's just not really anything insane they could drop yeah i don't really think the live stream is going to be the most insane thing then again you know let me just you know lower everybody's expectations and then who knows maybe they do bring back um i was gonna say other halloween servants but they already did that right that's the whole point of this stuff back <laughs> this stuff back down here it's bringing back all the old Halloween guys and like anybody that's been in a Halloween event we bring them back around so yeah and since the event bonus is so limited I really can't think of anybody gas to bring back around so that's a little unfortunate maybe there's just someone I'm not thinking of and you guys can let me know in the comments down below you could be like oh no you don't remember this one part like okay well Okay, here's one that I just thought of. For Brave Liz, right? There is a part where you fight the Chaldea insane people, for lack of a better term, and Raiko's in there, right? And now that we know that Raiko is going to get a really strong buff um, in about two years for the eighth, no, is it eighth? Yeah, eighth anniversary. Uh, sorry, I'm just like, man, the game's been out for eight years. That's really long. But uh, since we know that she's going to be getting that, it's like maybe summon for that, right? Like maybe you would be interested in going for that unit, especially if there's no one else you really care about for the rest of the year. Something like that, I guess, could be a little hype, but I really can't think of too many people, um, especially because they already brought back pretty much everybody. And I really can't think of any quality of life thing that they, that they might uh, bring back, because I swear that like the Mighty Chain and the new revision for how quick chains work, I think that was for 7th Anniversary, if I'm remembering correctly. Again, you can correct me in the comments down below. Um, I want to say that was 7th Anniversary. And if it's anything tied to Anniversary, I don't think they're going to move that away from Anniversary. They might just leave that as like an actual Anniversary buff, right? That's something that we get when that actually drops. So I don't really know. I might go ahead and stream it, maybe, right? Because it's a bit different than the JP live streams. Like JP live streams, it's just kind of me waiting for the new unit to be announced because I can't understand what they're saying. But the English ones, I can at least understand what they're doing. And I don't know, maybe there'll be another NA first. Uh, the other NA first that we just got was really nice. A new GSSR that I know doesn't matter to, um, you know, your non-paying players or people that just don't put any money into the game. They're completely free to play. But that was kind of gas. There were some good units on that where they put like Merlin on there. Like that was that was cool. You know, it wasn't bad. That's not terrible. It's also good for newer players that they have kind of a chance to uh, snag a really, really strong support. Like you can get Merlin potentially alongside the free waiver and kind of be cooking when you're starting the game. So... I don't know, do I think they're going to put a GSSR for Halloween? Probably not. I think that's really, uh, really being hopeful, right? It's being very optimistic. And as optimistic of a person as I am, I don't, I don't know if I'm that crazy. But I guess you guys can let me know in the comments down below. What do you think we're going to be getting for the Halloween live stream? I'm really sad that they're allegedly not going to be doing, um, you know, just, what, what is it called? Uh, new Halloween and Christmas events over on JP. Because I know they said they wanted to slow that stuff down. Because I think something that would be really cool for like a Halloween would be like Ushi Gozen or something. right? Like I think that would be like a really, really sick um, Halloween servant. But I don't know. This is pretty much what we've got to look forward to for Halloween for this year. Because apparently they're going to be putting the brakes on that over on JP. But I don't know. Let's see what we might be able to get on NA. This maybe could be the start of something really cool. If you want to be real optimistic, maybe this is when we start to see a little bit of those NA differences between the NA version and the JP version. Or maybe we get a couple little bonus things but even like a surprise rate up for i think raiko is maybe the most hype thing they realistically can do because they can't bring back any of the supports because i don't remember merlin being in any of the events so yeah, i don't really know i don't know what they're gonna do but you know what maybe somebody in the comments smarter than i maybe they are just 
infinitely more wise and they're like no 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 ztl you fool you see what you didn't remember is that castoria appeared a year early in in halloween 4 and she's gonna be coming back on a rate of i don't know man. whatever you guys want to drop in the comments down below maybe there is a quality of life buff that i'm not thinking of could be grail casting i think i think grail casting i don't remember that being tied to anniversary i think that's new year's i believe so maybe we could get that early that would be really sick I would love to delete all my Caesar coins so I could start throwing more Grails in the Morgan because Lord knows I'm already out of Grails. So I don't know, something along those lines. But all right, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm just like racking my brain being like, what are you guys going to possibly announce when you guys know that we have Clairvoyance? And so Lasengo's NA team is always trying to out Clairvoyance our Clairvoyance. Right? They're always trying to get around it. So I'm like, okay, what are you guys gonna try to do because they always say the game like my boy albert always comes out there and says yeah y'all thought y'all had clairvoyance we're dropping this this thing that's new and i'm like all right man. like for anniversary i was like bro you just said everything that we already knew was gonna happen to a t nothing was changed my clairvoyance was on point so i don't know let's see let's see what they do maybe i will stream it i don't know we'll find out i'll let you guys know monday probably or the video that goes up on tuesday i'll probably decide I'll stop flip-flopping. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourselves a nice night. Peace.